how is your recovery going? Well, it's going uh, pretty well. They they say it's ahead of schedule. Uh, it's just a long, long process. Um, we're at sort of the seven seven month now uh, mark now, and um, it's now it's about kind of strength control and then also not doing too much to cause pain. So I have about a thirty to 40% strength differential between my left and my right leg. And um, that's up from being about uh, 10% to 90%. So, uh, you know, I'm just just keeping on trucking. Do you, do you notice a difference when you're, when you're riding? Yeah, I, I definitely actively have to sort of push a little bit more on my left side. Um, and then I definitely notice a difference in the gym, you know, doing strength exercises and uh, leg press, stuff like that. Um, but it's a lot better than it was a couple months ago, I can tell you that. How, how has the whole process been? It's obviously, it's been a long one, like you said. Yeah, it's been a long process. It's, it'd be hard to kind of surmise in, in a couple minutes, let alone a really long time. Um, but it's... There's definitely been a lot of kind of soul searching and uh, and you know you end up spending a lot of time with yourself and I've been able to spend a lot of time at home in Boulder, Colorado, just doing rehab and, and trying to get better. Um, but you know overall it's been a, a really positive experience. I've taken a lot of positive things out of it. And that's really all you can do when you have, you know, a traumatic injury. Um, and I'm, I'm thankful that it wasn't worse. You know, it could have been my back. It could have been my head. Uh, obviously, I use my legs to make money and, and follow my passion. And so, taking one of them out of commission is not ideal. But with modern medicine and you know, youth uh, makes it possible to come back from something like this and uh, you know when I'm able to come back if I'm able to come back I'll, I'll, I, I know I'll be a kind of a different bike rider and and um, I already am a different person just having gone through this experience so uh, that excites me that, that that's what drives me is to, to kind of come back and uh, and be able to share my story and um, you know see where this sort of new uh this new version of myself can can go in in the sport of cycling how have you found the motivation to be able to get through the last few months but i mean i think initial motivation is just to give back to a place where you're a functioning human um you know when you're on crutches uh when you can't bend your leg and it's in a brace um you know you don't want to be that person for the rest of your life um, so I think you find a lot of motivation in just waking up and looking at your leg and it's swollen and it's scarred and nasty and there's no, uh, you know, no muscle tone and you want to get that back so you just have to do something every day and, and really apply yourself every day and uh, it gets better and better and it's easier to kind of settle into a point where you know the most difficult point is when you get function back you get movement back but you have to keep going in order to to get to even uh, it's easy to kind of accept that you've made it to a comfortable place and um, you know you need to keep pushing in order to obviously return back to a professional level of sport but um, had support from the team and, and just general support from my family and friends and you know you really find who is close to you who really loves you and, and uh, you, you keep those people at your side and all they want to do is help and that's um, you know that's motivational in itself. Have you got a time scale for, for your recovery? Is it a... Yeah I have a time scale kind of in my own head it's sort of um, Two, two, three more months of strengthening um, on this left side, this left leg, and then hopefully I can be at even, and once I'm at even, um, then I can start to really think about proper training. I mean, I have a good base. I'm able to ride my bike. I ride my bike uh, five, six times a week, two to three hours, so it's not like I'm not on my bike uh, ever, but yeah, it's 
you know, everybody wants a time scale, I want a time scale, but it's uh, kind of something that makes its own rules and uh, you just gotta follow follow the body and what it does and the um, body's hard to understand, so. Do you think you'll be able to race in 2015? Yeah, definitely. Definitely be able to race in 2015. Um, it's just sort of a matter of when and uh, you know if I'm able to do the, the races that I really that I'm really passionate about and really want to compete in so